So I've seen many people wonder how hard could installing Linux actually be? Well, it's not that hard actually, and right now somebody actually gave me a laptop that they wanted me to set up for them and then return. So this right here is a Dell and Spron with an Intel Core i3 processor. Came with Windows 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Ubuntu Mate on here. Now, I've already made a flash drive, and you can make a flash drive by running Rufus on Windows. I'll post a link in the description. Or you can just burn an ISO of Ubuntu Mate onto a DVD and then put it in your computer and then turn it on. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first plug the flash drive into the computer or you're going to want to put the disk into the computer. Then you're going to want to turn it on and there should be a key that gets you into a boot menu and it's F12 on this system. Sometimes you might have to hit escape and on a computer that came with Windows 8 you might have a much shorter amount of time to push the button. So on this one it's a Windows 7 machine originally so I have plenty of time to push the button. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select either CD, DVD, CDRW if you have a disk or USB if you have a flash drive. I'm going to select USB and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to hit install Ubuntu Mate. You can hit try without installing if you want to get to the live OS in case you want to like backup data or something and if you select um, if you just select nothing it'll give you a menu in the OS on what you want to do instead of having it be selected here so I'm going to hit install Ubuntu Mate now this is a system with presumably Intel integrated graphics and probably an Athros or Intel Wi-Fi chipset. If it has Broadcom, you will need to download additional drivers after you plug in the Ethernet cable, which I have here. But first I'm going to see if I can connect to Wi-Fi. So then you'll be at the setup prompt, and what you're going to want to do is click in the corner and see if you can see networks. Now if you can't, and your system has Wi-Fi, either check the switch and it'll tell you if the switch is off or what you have to do is plug in an ethernet cable to the side of the system now what will happen is you'll then be connected to the internet it'll say connection established you're going to want to click continue now I click download updates and install third party software you can uncheck install third party software if you don't want to install that stuff click continue and then wait a little bit because then it'll get you to the part where you can partition the hard drive and it's currently loading that up right now so now you'll be at the installation type window and you'll get two options you can either erase the disk and install Ubuntu Mate or you can choose something else and resize the partitions as in shrinking your Windows 7 partition and installing Ubuntu Mate on another partition. However, I'm just going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu Mate because the person who wants this computer wants just one OS on it and whatnot. So I'm going to click Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu Mate. You can also optionally choose if you want to encrypt the drive and use LVM. Now, you probably, if you're actually going to be using this on a day-to-day -day basis, I would encrypt the installation or at least encrypt your home folder. So I'm going to click Install Now. Continue. And now you'll select your time zone. I'm going to choose New York because I live in the Eastern Time Zone. You can choose your keyboard layout. If it's different, change it now. Um, my keyboard layout is English US, so I'm going to continue with that. And now I can put my name, my computer's name, pick a username, which is a different from your name, but it automatically generates. For example, I'm going to type in Dell user, 
and it'll come up with a lowercase one as you can see right there now that's because of a limitation with Unix and how Unix's usernames are designed now choose a password here I'm not going to type in a password on video but you put a password in there you can choose to log in automatically or require a password now if this is a laptop and not a public computer I would require a password to log in so I'm just gonna enter in the password now when you're done entering the password in you're going to want to click continue I would automatically use a randomly generated password for security reasons but if you're giving this computer to say somebody who's never used Linux and just wants a quick and easy password just give them something that's just a bit different from now what will happen is the system will install and you can just sit back go get a sandwich go get some pop or something sit back and wait while Linux installs and this usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes less time than Windows 7 does and did I mention that when this installs you also don't have to worry about any sort of activation issues whatsoever now that's a nice feature about Linux okay so after a while you'll see this box on the screen that says installation is complete and that you need to restart so what you do is you click restart now and you wait now as you can see the laptop is rebooting and sometimes it'll get a grub scream sometimes it'll just boot straight into it depending on how you have it set up like if you're dual booting it'll give you a grub screen if you're not it'll give you this depending on the distro and I have this on an i3 so it should work out pretty well and usually you'll wait and it'll be booted up sometimes you'll get a Ubuntu logo sometimes you'll get a gray screen and as you can see I'm at the mate logon prompt now all you gotta do is enter in your password um, I'm gonna enter it in now and doesn't take very long and you're logging in this is something that I like about mate it is very quick especially compared to some other desktops like GNOME 3 which is slow garbage so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sometimes when you log in for the first time it takes a little longer but then once it's done you can do whatever so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to system I'm going to go to look and feel and I'm going to go to mate tweak this is something I like to do whenever I set up the Ubuntu mate system especially when it's for someone else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to interface and I'm going to go to uh, Redmond and usually Redmond works don't know why I did that time yeah there you go I set it to Redmond and now you get a very familiar user interface for someone who's never used Linux. So you can close out of it. Now one thing I like about Ubuntu Mate is when you check that install additional software option earlier it automatically goes ahead and installs drivers for stuff like the networking. Now even though you have to plug the Ethernet cable in when you install it, when you remove it you still get wireless networks because it installed the driver for the Broadcom network which is a nice feature I like about Ubuntu Mate so all in all this is a very easy to use and set up distribution especially if you're trying to show somebody who's never used Linux before what it's like this right here is a great distro to do it with so that's all that needs to be said it just works Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I hope I showed you how easy installing Linux actually is.